I'm Hyun Jung Jang at Fremont Fair, and today I'm here with Oino. He's from the western of Kenya, and he's my first interviewer today. And I really liked his design and his painting. It's really beautiful, so that's why I choose him my first interviewer. Hi. Hi. So how are you? Uh, it's pretty sweet. Very good. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Kenya. Yeah, yeah East Africa. Uh, yeah. And how long have you been here? I've been here now. Uh, it's gone going uh, five years and a half since I've been in America. Okay. Yeah. And could you explain about your designs? Sweet. This is what I've been doing. This is my body now. This is what I've been doing since I was born. My mother, my grandfather, my all my people in back in Kenya, in my Kenyan, all we does but tickings, you know. Yeah, this is what we do. That's what we do all the time. Since I was born, no school. Yeah, I didn't go to school. Yeah, yeah. Do you have some special theme of your design? Yes, of course. These are all the culture of East Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda. These are all the culture of all. What I see there, the animals and all people. These are all our culture. Yeah. Where do your rich colors come from in your batik? Oh yeah, that's a good question, you know. Yeah, when I grew up, when I was growing up, when I was a little boy, I used to go with my mother or my parents to the forest, you know. We collect the back of the trees, roots, leaves, flowers, then we bring them back home, then we make the colors first. So right now, since I'm in America now, the trees from here and the trees back in Africa are so different. So I cannot make the colors here. For the more, this is America. If you go for somebody's trees, you're gonna go to jail. I don't wanna go to jail. So my mother sends me the colors right now. Then uh, I, I live in Portland. My studio is in Portland, Oregon, yeah. So um, when, I se when my mama sends me the colors, I go to Joanne's Fabrics. I, go, I, get the, I get the cotton, then I get the wax, then I go sit down and make batiks. So usually how many colors do you have? Uh, we always have different colors, like maybe like uh, 11 colors, but when we want a colors, we mix them. We know how we mix these colors to bring the colors what we want. So your mom sent you the colors and your age is maybe late 20? No, me, I'm not 20 years. My son is 26. Yeah, me, I'm a 46 years old. Then in August, in August, I'm going to be 47. In August, yeah, I was born on the 17th of August. How could you look so young? Yeah, because, you know, uh, I grew up in Africa, you know. So there is a secret why I am young. The secret, yeah, the secret is that me, I don't have a stress. I didn't go to, I didn't go to school. I'm non-political. I'm non-religion. Non I have no religion. I'm not even a Rasta man. Yeah. So me, that's how I grow up. And my food, my food, if I want a mango, I go to the tree. If I want a popo, I go to the tree. If I want a chicken, I have my chicken here. <laughs> if I want a cow beef, I go to the beef where it's cut, no fridge. Yeah. The, because the, the way I live, the way I grow up was like this. My, our house, our house, my house exactly, that's this the houses I grew up in. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. Those houses, no phone, no electricity, no running water, no P.O. box, no ATM. We don't pay no taxes, so I'm free. That's why I'm free. I live in a community. Everybody, we love one another and we trust one another. A community means like even Seattle two times. Everybody knows one another. If you're a little boy, somebody gonna ask you, hey, where are you from? You know, I'm gonna tell you, hey, my father is so and so, my grandfather is so and so. Then they're gonna know, oh, this is a family from the other side. So I am free guy, that's why I look young. And uh, the same time, whatever I am is a home because this world is so hard. Yeah, like right now, this is my house, this is my home now, yeah. That's good. My mother tongue, yes, yeah, that's a good question too. My, my, I'm a Luo tribe from Western side, Kenya, you know. A Luo tribe, like, especially like Barack Obama. Barack Obama is from my area. When he comes in my area back in Kenya, he came with big, big bodyguards from America, you know. Yeah, that's my tribe. So Luo people, Luo people lives around Lake Victoria at the Western side. We are the second population of Kenya. The first population is called Kikuyu tribe. 
Then the second population is called Luo tribe. Yeah, from Kenya. So, could you sing a song in your mother tongue? Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna sing you love song. Okay. Love song, which means it's a song for godly song, no? Because we live in love, you know? If you live in love, that's godly. So let me sing your song now, okay? Okay. Yeah. Hera, Hera, ma donje polo, Wanduto, Wadwaro, donje polo, Hera, ma duonge, kinde duto. Asante sana. Oh, great. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you have a website? Yes, I have a website now. The website, I'm now trying to make a website because, uh, you know, uh, now I'm learning business because when I was in Africa, uh, I was an artist. So when I come in America here, yeah, this is now another business. So I'm learning business. Yeah, my website is uh, uh, www.coinobatix.com. Well, uh, I say thank you so much, so much, very much. What's your name again? Zihanza. Zihanza. What about your name, brother? Jack. Jack, yeah. Yeah, I just want to tell you that I say thank you for you for interviewing me, you know. This was really a good interview so much, you know. And uh, when I say with my Kiswahili word, I'm going to say Asante Sana. Asante Sana. Akuna Matara, yeah. And also I'm going to tell you Maisha Marefu. Maisha Marefu means long life for everyone, yeah. Thank you so much, brother. I wish you good times. <laughs>